This segment of DOD TV's Natural Barn is brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. This week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. Time to celebrate, boys. That's right. That's what they call an Eastern Iowa double right there. Yeah! I think it's got all the making of a good, good night. I smoked him at 35. Could not be happier. Long season here in Ohio. Tell you what, this morning has been so fun sitting here. Winchester and Drury Outdoors present Natural Born. It's in your blood. It's in your DNA. Natural Born cast member Dave Kramer and son Dalton get neighborly with friends Charlie Falk and Chris Lenz in search of an Iowa double. And the long beards waste no time. We just had a bird gobble behind us. It sounded like he was pretty close, maybe within 100 yards or so. I'm sure he's gonna come out. Yeah. I see him, he's right there. He's coming up there. He's coming out of the different Okay, I see him, I see him, I see him. Okay. Right there, he's gonna come in right from the decoy. You're gonna shoot him. I can't get on him. They're filming him. I can't, I can't. Don't get worry him. about it. Nice. I shot my blind, Chris. Well, is that what happened? No blood on that arrow. One down, we climb right back in the blind. It's early, and uh, we got at least two hours, two and a half hours till dark. We were so. in the blind for five minutes, and that yeah, Five out. minutes. I guess it's up to me now, so if we get another one to come in here, I guess I better not shoot the blind again. Smoked him. He ain't going very far. He's going down right there, buddy. Yeah! <laughs> That's what they call an Eastern Iowa double right there. Well, April 20th, pretty good night in the turkey woods. Charlie and Chris have been wanting to come down, and we've been wanting them to come down for a long time. They live about 30 miles from me. And they know we got a lot of birds on this lease. Tends to be better in the evening, and so they come down at four o'clock tonight, couldn't have worked any better. No sooner got in the blind, got set up, and we had a bird drumming behind the blind, and Charlie took him out. And we had two strutters out here tonight, and uh, it worked perfect on both birds, and pretty awesome night. Eight decoys, 
we had out in the spread and it, it seemed to, they seemed to like it. They went from one tom to the next strutting and, and put a couple awesome shots on these birds and we got two birds down. I can't thank you enough, Dave, <laughs> thank you. Chris, Dalton, it was, a, it was a fun night, awesome night. Time to celebrate, boys. That's right. You're watching Natural Born Killers on the Pursuit Channel. Stay up to date with our official journal on DruryOutdoors.com. Natural born cast member Keith Keene has dedicated the last few seasons to putting his son Adam on big whitetail bucks. Well son, once again you guys show me up. I'm nice enough to let you hunt and I'm filming and look what you kill. Now it's time for Adam to help Keith by going after a management buck. It's supposed to be cold this morning. I think they should be up and moving. We'll see, it's getting to be that time of year. young bucks that we're gonna let go. But this year we're just gonna try to clean the herd up and really get it to where we want it to be. It's, just, it's a shooter, it's one of our management bucks. down right there. I'll tell you what, this morning has been so fun sitting here. He was one of the bucks we were wanting to get off this farm. And I grunted at him a couple times and he came right off the hill to us. He walked right out 30 yards away and I think I made a good hit on him. Oh, that's awesome. Really good job. No, I don't think he's gonna go far at all. I think he went down right over there. We'll give the buck some time, get my dad and Come back and see what we can find. So let's go look. Yeah. He's bleeding good. There he is. <laughs> good job, buddy. Wow. That's weird. Look how messed up he is. Big old head on him. You know, he's just run down too. I'd be run down too if I couldn't fight for the food. All right, take a break. What an awesome last couple days it's been. Had the day off Friday from school and, and then to come here this morning and go bow hunting in Illinois. It just, the last day or so has just been awesome. We got in the stand this morning with high hopes. The weather was perfect. And I look up on the hill and hear this guy standing. He's not the prettiest deer out there by no means, but he worked his way in, grunted at him a couple times, and he came right by us at 30 yards. That was it. Awesome hunt. This segment of DOD TV's Natural Barn is brought to you by Analogics. Protect your herd with the power of science. Drury team member Greg Day heads to Ohio with fellow team member Rick Malik. Greg has been trying for three years to harvest a buck on film, and the conditions are promising. Here we are in Ohio. We're about four days into the gun season. It's been raining, snowing, and blowing. Oh. Finally, we got a break in the weather. It's a beautiful evening, cold and crisp and still. We're gonna sit in, we gotta be super quiet. The air's not moving at all, so we're up high. Hopefully our scent drops down over and the deer come out above us. That's what we're hoping for.
Without a kill on three outdoors. Are you kidding me? We expected these deer to come out here. That deer came walking right in. The TC baby sighted it in for 100, shot him at 10. Brother, thank you. You did it, baby. Thank, thank you, man. Thank, thank you. Yes! Finally, he's right. That's been three years. Three years without a kill on three outdoors. Boy, I can feel Greg's pain because I am in the middle of a three-year drought myself. But if you're dedicated to wanting to take a mature buck, it's gonna happen. I've been there, most everyone has. Droughts are not just something Mother Nature puts on you, it's something that happens in hunting. It is real hard to stay dedicated. I mean, it can downright wear you out. To get up every morning when the alarm clock goes off, get all the camouflage on, drive to your hunting spot, it just starts to take a toll. So my best piece of advice is start talking to people. I think you'll find out that most people aren't having success on a regular basis. And those that are, are a small percentage of the hunters that are in the woods. But you gotta do whatever it takes to keep your spirits up, because you never know when that big deer you're hunting is gonna step out in front of you. He is down in the bottom of the world right now. That's where we're headed, so. Hang on, let's go find him. Look at that. Can't say enough, what a great hunt, great evening. You know, we were up on that ridge, just dead still, cold. Just sitting there, nothing happening. Saw a couple of does and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just comes walking in and he put on a heck of a show. Could not be happier, long season here in Ohio. Rick was fortunate enough to shoot early and then just stick with me until I killed. And I'll tell you what, this deer came out tonight, perfect ending to the Ohio season. We're both happy campers. It's nearly mid-December in Illinois, and baseball legend Jim Tomey refuses to put his bow down. He's loose and ready to swing away. We got a couple fun days here ahead of us. We got a huge front coming. Every deer hunter loves fronts. And we got plenty of five-year-olds waiting to basically bite the dust. We're off. We're off to the races. We're in the blind. We just obviously got in just to dive. It's probably three o'clock, a little after three. High pressure, beans. You know, I think, I think it's got all the making of a good, good night. Tweet the Drury's at Drury Outdoors. Let us know about your hunts. Right there. Is he a four or five year old? He's five. Yeah. Oh my God. What do you got for a score? Upper 50s, 60. I mean, he's, he's liable to walk right through here, too. He's bigger than that. He's bigger than that, yeah. He's mid 60s. He's 34 yards right there. What do you think? Do you want me to shoot him up that window? He's broadside right there. How do you want to do this? You can come here. You can come to this seat. Okay. 
think he might be touching 70. You, you've got to shoot that deer. There's your shot. He's quartering away. Come, come right here. Range him and tell me again what you think. 35. Should we let him get out front of us or should I shoot him? You can shoot him right there. And I can slide this way though and not have to film through it. That would be ideal. But I shoot him right there. He's clear. He's quartering away. Got you 175 inch to 180 inch down with a bow. No, we don't. Yes, we do, baby. He's a giant, Mark, and I smoked him at 35 out of my blind. How did that feel? Love it. I love the bow, brother. I love the bow. You know, there are a lot of advantages to hunting out of a box blind, but as you can see, there's a lot of disadvantages as well. You gotta make sure you're not making a lot of noise and everything else. You just gotta be a little more careful about your moves. Outside of just the comfort of having uh, an enclosure with maybe a heater or something like that, I try to stay out of them when I can. I like being in the tree with an open platform, something that I can uh, really peruse the area about. So hunting out of those blinds can be extremely difficult. However, if you can make it happen, it's one of the most rewarding types of hunts. Experience has taught me that you need to practice shooting your bow out of a blind at your targets in the backyard. Learn how to function in a blind so you know how to perform when it comes time to kill a deer. Well, we've given this deer plenty of time. You know, it's been at least an hour and a half since you know, we, we feel like the hit is really good. I didn't get full penetration. I think I hit that front shoulder, but you know, I know he's dead. I know he's over there and he's probably one of my biggest bow bucks that I've ever shot. He shouldn't be far. That's when I didn't get full penetration. He must have broke it off right there, but he got great red blood. Look right there. What do you think, Rhino? It is. Oh my God. Oh my God, what a deer, unbelievable. December 7th, what a magical night. We got in, Ryan came from St. Louis, I came from Chicago. You know, first of all, you wanna thank your family, my wife, my kids. They let me kind of chase this passion of the dream of bow hunting and you know, you sit behind an animal like this is just, is just a joy and many time you know you get these big boys on their feet you got to capitalize on it i was very lucky very fortunate to do that it's definitely a pleasure to sit behind an animal like this he's going to hang on the wall as they all do here at lodge 25 so you know you want to thank chuck randy my dad you know mark and terry i know they've they've been true friends and uh it's pretty cool to sit behind an animal like this. Next week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. And we're nearing the end of the first week of Missouri season. We have such confidence in these Winchesters. The decoys are set at 40 yards. Today, everything worked out great. Well, I ran him at 50 yards right before I pulled the trigger. The rest is history. Finally came to an end, but this is a Halloween treat for me. 